Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba, and today we are going to create a transmission tower using a special macro called Tower Layout. This macro is the ideal tool for creating power, transmi power transmission tower designs and models in Tecla structures. Welcome to this tutorial, and let's get started. If you take a look on the screen, you can see we have a grid already. And this should not be something you, you should be now struggling to create if you've been following this channel for quite some time. Now, if you take a look on my, on my right hand side here, we have applications and components. And how to access this uh, applications and component dialog box, just click this radio button here and that will take you, will bring you here. And uh, the moment you, this thing, this part has come up, just type tower and you'll be prompted with this macros that starts with the same name so the program will prompt you with several names of macro that starts with the same name you've just typed here now in this case we are, we are going to use tower layout this tower layout is what is the macro we are going to use to create our transmission tower power transmission tower now i'll just click on it and uh, i'll just bring it right in the middle here and click right there I'll give it some time to load uh, the preset. I've, I've given it some time to load the presets, then we'll set it up to our, or we'll customize it up with our own measurements. Now, let me just come to navigate here and rotate this. You can also press Control Shift and rotate. Whichever works best for you, that is the best for you. Now, let me just zoom it and turn it around. Th this is the default preset we have and uh, we'll start working right away from here now to customize this i'll just double click on it then we'll be prompted with this dialog box called tecla structures tower layout or numerically known as one you can just type one and it will be it, it will come up right, right there now we have tabs here we have par we have parameter tab we have one two three and four transmission transmission tower cross arms which are these ones these are the transmission cross arms we'll come to uh, we'll come to that part now we have sections here we have section one two three and four going that way we'll go to the second tab which is one and from here we want to set uh, the very bottom end of our tower so we want it from this end to this end to be three meters we just feed three here we'll feed we'll feed five here five meters in this case we'll work with five meters and here we'll also feed five meters and this side will feed We'll fit to 2500 right here and uh, again we'll fit 2500 right here that's it if you want to change this profile we can change it right from this uh, from this spot spot but we'll just leave it at 150 uh, l profile but if you want to change just you just click on this radio button here and this will take you straight to a profile catalog right here and you'll be, you'll be able to pick on the appropriate size by picking on this rsa or l-shaped profile in this case uh, the default is 150 and you can also change this from 150 either to 120 or 100. i'll close that once you've, pick, you've picked the, the appropriate size, just come here and click apply and click OK and just come here and accept the changes by clicking modify apply and accept. That's it. Now, we fed our dimensions here, which is uh, 5 meters, 5 meters by 2.5 and, and 2.5. That is the second tab, which is section which is section 1 at the bottom end here. And then we'll go to section 2 here. Pick on section 2. And under section two, we'll feed our own measurements here, which is which is now we'll feed uh, fifteen hundred here. We'll we we'll leave it at default of fifteen hundred. Then we'll go to the to the third section here. We we'll just leave it at uh, three hundred right there, and we we'll go to the fourth one. We can leave it at uh, at that default. Then uh, what you do, just go ahead and click modify. 
and see what will appear on your left hand side. This is what we have. And let me just close this so that we uh, turn this round so that you see what's going on here. We have the, our tower, we have our tower here. Though it looks sketchy, but we are still working on it. This is it. And uh, let's go back where we were. And to bring that dialog box where we'll be able to customize or the dialog box we'll use to customize our uh, tr power transmission tower, we'll just double click on this model. Just double click on it and this dialog box will come up. Let me just close that. Now, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, we were on the fourth tab here. Then we'll go to, we'll go to, we'll go straight to, we'll go straight to transmission tower cross arms. And the transmission tower cross arms we have here, we have the arms. We need that arm. Let me click on that radio button and see what we have. We don't need that. We'll retain this. We'll maintain this at standard. We'll give that yes and yes. And we need everything we need. We need this arm here. We need another arm there. Now, which measurements do we, we do we use here? In our case, from this end, from this, from zero zero level to the bottom end of this, to the bottom end of this arm, we'll use. 10 meters we'll just type 10 meters right here 10 meters there and uh, at the tip or at the edge of this arm to the center of our tower here we'll give it approximately six meters we'll give it six meters here just type six meters that's it then we'll come this side right from the zero zero level to the bottom end of this of the second arm here what should we feed here will feed 15 meters so it will be uh, a distance of five meters from this end to this to this end now we'll feed here 15 meters here 15 meters then uh, we go up here what will feed here will feed 20 meters 20 meters here that's it now how how high will be our arm from this end to this end the height of this arm will feed here we'll give it 1.5 meters high and also the same will apply to this 1.5 meters 1.5 not 1.1 1.5 meters and also this one will also 1.5 will also become 1.5 have 1.5 measurements and uh, from the edge to the center of our tower this will have six meters long and the same to this and same to this and this is what we have now if you come to position just leave it at default then we come to here we come to this uh, to this tab and click modify click modify then we see what will come up on our left hand this is what we have and for now I'll just click OK and click on empty screen to deselect to deselect what everything that I, I selected previously and I can turn this round this is what we have now this is our power transmission tower this is it you can right click click interrupt and right click once again and redraw to get rid of any thing that is clogging our design or more the model turn this round now the next move is to place our bracing or to brace our tower how do we do that we just come back to applications and component here and just type tower once again and uh, this time round we'll just scroll down and come to tower diagonal we want to use this macro to brace our tower here now we'll just double click on it first of all just to check what we have here this is what we have and uh, we'll come this is how the bracings will appear that's why it, it is on the picture uh, tab then i'll go to parts you, uh, you you can change the size of your braces by just clicking on this radio button here which will take you to the the profile catalog here where you'll be able to to pick on the appropriate uh l-shaped uh, profile or whichever profile you want to use 
as long as it meets the standard of this particular structure. Now, I'll come to parameters. I'll pick the type of brace, bracing I want to use. You can uh, click on this drop down arrow and pick on either of these. I'll retain it at that X type. And uh, we have twin profile here. If you want to use a twin profile for braces, that's upon you and that it's applicable, you can use that. And once you've done that, just come here and click modify, apply and accept for your settings to be uh, for your set settings to be accepted and be and be made as a default the moment you start creating your braces now i'm right i'm i'm, I'm, keep, I'm now ready to go and uh, i'll get started right here and if i mouse over this you can be able every you can be you can be able to see everything is getting uh, is selected which is not right and uh my macro for tower diagonal is active you can you can also read at the bottom end here pick the object but if i mouse over this everything is getting selected so i want to isolate the rest of these parts and only deal with the with the these four columns now i'll to do that i'll click select objects in component button this button here and click that so if i mouse over this you'll be able to see these are selected individually not everything is being selected now i'll go ahead and click this and this and and press my middle button the mouse and you'll be able to see that i have my braces in place i'll do the same thing here click here and click on that and that and press my middle button the mouse and you'll be able to see the bracings are created and come back to navigate and rotate this uh rotate this like that and remember i told you that in, when it comes to rotating your model there's a keyboard shortcut and that's also on the menu here by clicking on this uh, navigate drop down arrow you can pick rotate with mouse or you can press ctrl shift and hold your mild button on the your mild button on the mouse and rotate whichever approach works best for you just to use that now i'll click on that and, and click and click that and press my left button on the mouse and turn that around while holding my left button on the mouse also i can press ctrl shift and and press my mild button on the mouse and turn this round like this whatever makes you work comfortably that is the tool which is right for you now i'll continue bracing this i'll click on this and that and press my middle button on the mouse and i'll have create I've braced that section of my structure of uh, power transmission tower i'll right click and exit from that uh, macro or tool to move to another section and place my braces i'll click on that macro once again and click on this part and this part and press my middle button on the mouse and that has been created you can take a look on what we've done so far and turn this round we've braced that section of our power transmission tower now we are going to the next section we'll pick on that and uh, pick on that and this and press on mill button the mouse and you can see we've 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 braced that section click on that that and that and press the middle button on the mouse and click on empty screen to deselect what has been selected come to navigate and rotate this right click and click interrupt come back to power uh, tower diagonal macro and select on the section you want to brace and select on that and press the middle button on the mouse right click and click interrupt to terminate that active command click on empty screen to deselect what has been selected i've clicked on empty screen and, and uh, everything that was selected previously has been deselected don't worry about uh, the connections here that we are coming to that later on i'll come to navigate here and click on rotate by mouse use or using mouse and the pick rotation point i'll press my left button on the mouse and turn it like that right click and cl click interrupt and come to tower diagonal macro click on that click on that press the middle button on the mouse now i'll move all the way and clear this and uh, 
move all the way i'll turn this round and turn that round like that right click and come back here and pick on that press on middle button on the mouse right click and come back here and pick on this something is wrong and uh, something has not been done properly no it's okay now i'll come back here and click on that and this and create and, and i mean and brace that section and also i'll come here come here i'm just turning it around so that i can have a clear look of what is of what we are doing we remain we are remaining this section and we'll just pick on that part and this part and brace it that part and that part and brace that right click and come to navigate and rotate this like that now i'll come back to the di tower diagonal and pick on that pick on that and that and press your middle button on the mouse and that has been braced come back and navigate and rotate that and let's braced let us brace the last section here and this is where we are right click and redraw and this is what we have at the moment perfectly well done and we can get rid of that we can get rid of that we can get rid of this get rid of this get rid of that get rid of this perfect now what we have is this you can turn this round and also there are some unwanted braces and we can get rid of them get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that you can get rid of that get rid of this get rid of that and that one is attached to the macro uh, to the arms of our uh, tower structure we'll get get rid of that and that this will remain and uh, we'll go ahead and save everything here once you've saved everything we just give it some time to, to process that command of save and come back to rotate and let's turn this round now at the bottom end here we want to place the we want to place our base split and what to do just come here and type base base split and you can work with any and pick on that pick on this and uh, you want to place a base split right there and uh, pick on this and place a base split right at the bottom end there and come all the way here and click on that and place a base split at the bottom end here and we want to access the other end of our tower escape that and right click click interrupt and come back to base split uh, macro click on that and place a base split right there right click and click redraw and this is what we have at the moment and uh, this is just the the first step or the um, or uh, part one of this uh, tutorial and the rest will be done on the next presentation and uh we just first of all clear with this get rid of that get rid of that now in the next presentation we'll be able to work on our arms brace our arms our uh, tr transmission tower arms perfectly and also to place uh, to connect these braces with gasset plates that will make our transmission tower looks more presentable and uh, neatly done and that's it and let's meet on the next presentation i'm Maurice dimba and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh let's meet then Bye-bye, I'm Maurice Dimba, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel, and bye-bye.